All right, guys. So today we are going to talk about COVID. First and foremost, I want to say these are my symptoms, okay? This is for me to inform you guys what to look for, but I am not whatsoever speaking for anybody else at all because this shit is crazy. <laughs> all right, so the thing that sucks about all of this COVID stuff is that nobody is the same, okay? People don't have any symptoms at all. Some people are being on ventilators. Some people are dying. Some people are just completely okay. So again, I just wanna make it like so entirely transparent because um, I just don't want anybody speaking for me or speaking like, oh, Mm, COVID's not that bad. I just had a headache. Like, listen, I'm just giving you my experience, my symptoms, and just kind of making people more aware. All right, so um, the first symptom that started was definitely a headache, migraine. I do not ever, 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 ever have um, migraines or headaches, and my headaches were so bad I couldn't even look at the light from the sun nothing um if somebody was talking or they had the like the and I'm I can be I couldn't talk myself because I'm super loud I couldn't talk myself because it hurt my head so bad I literally slept in a blanket for a full 24 hours underneath a blanket because it was just horrible hurting my freaking head so so bad um another symptom i had had um right after or just kind of during the headaches um was i was obviously really tired and my bones felt like this is what I would think feeling like a hundred would be like, but like my bones felt so deteriorated that I could barely stand up. Like my bones were so weak. My body was so weak. I couldn't stand up. I barely could make it to the bathroom without wanting to cry. I could not move whatsoever at all. It was like, I was just like, a dead body it was not the business um once i was done with the bad well it, it was never done it kind of still isn't um with the headache and the body aches um i started running a fever fever was like 105 106 but i was freaking freezing you guys like I was so cold, but I was like sweating. What is it? Like the cold chills? Like I was freaking, I was freaking cold and hot and everything at the same time. It was, it was so ridiculous because it was like, you're sweating, you know, you're really hot. You don't want the blanket. The second you take the blanket off, you're freaking cold and you need like 10 blankets. Yes. The headache the body aches, you know, this is all adding up. So all of that added up to, you know, the cold chills. After the cold chills, um, this is accumulated within the days. Um, I woke up and I felt like I was gonna have a heart attack. I thought in that moment, the way I felt, all of the things added up, then I was nauseous, right? I was nauseous. I was pale, paler than pale. Oh my gosh, I was pale. Um, and I, I thought I was gonna die. I, I couldn't breathe to save my life. And that it, that statement right there is like top of the line truest of the true 
I could not breathe to save my life. Dot period. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. Um, that was the final symptom that I was like, I have to go to the hospital. I have to go to the hospital. I can't stand. I can't. I'm freezing. My fever finally broke. Um, I can't look at the light because I have headaches. I, I feel like I'm going to freaking throw up. I can't breathe and my anxiety was through the roof. I felt like I was going to shit, piss, throw up and die all at the same time. Like it was just like boom, boom, boom. And it hit me like a freaking rock. Like I knew at that moment something was wrong with me. I no, Okay, so listen, I didn't think it was COVID. Not for one second. Okay, so disclaimer. <laughs> don't get me wrong like when i went to the stores i wore a mask got my hand sanitizer washed our hands when we got home disinfected i did everything that i needed to do to make sure that we didn't get covid but i was also the person who sat here and was like it's a fucking hoax you know like who i don't have, i don't know nobody who has covid first of all um I'm also a person too that I'm not going to fear my life and not live my life because you can die at any day, at any point in time. You don't know what's gonna happen within a year because you can, something bad can happen, you know, and you don't know what it is. Um, I just don't fear for my life to do anything. So I'm, I am that person that like, I am not going to stop living the life that I have, the, the beautiful life that I have is all with all these blessings because of a virus. I am going to do all of the respective precautions that I need to, but I'm not just going to not live my life. So yes, I was that person. I did everything I needed to, but I was also like, this is freaking stupid. Like, I think it's dumb. Okay, back to me dying. Uh, <laughs> So, like I said, I did everything that I need to. Um, I went to the hospital and I was like, I don't have COVID. Like, I'm having a heart attack and I'm probably going to die in like two minutes. So, like, can you help me? So, I, I went to the hospital and all signs pointed to COVID. And I was like, okay. So, I got the test, which... um. People who know me on here, I had like the high nostril piercing, right? Worst time of my freaking life. And I am so thankful for it because getting that COVID test was like a breeze piece of cake. Um, it was easy. It was easy. <laughs> it was like the easiest thing ever. So they tested me and I'm just there dying. Like I almost had a freaking get my thing because I couldn't breathe my nurse button um and end of the fucking video I had COVID that's it um if you guys have any other questions comments concerns or if you guys actually like want to know my whole life because I had to be quarantined for two weeks straight didn't see my children, um, didn't see my spouse, didn't even get to leave my room, really. Uh, I will share into detail with that because it was difficult. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. It was very short. I just wanted to talk about my symptoms. Um, I hope that you guys like this video. I, If you guys have any comments, concerns, questions, you guys can comment down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, I've been working on things finally now that, that I'm feeling better. Um, and I just want to run this by you guys again. Please, if you guys know somebody who just has a headache from COVID, which you meet somebody else, say, and they have COVID, please do not be insensitive to how they feel because just because you know that this person has a headache over here doesn't mean that this person isn't fighting depression and or on a ventilator or just something else worse um so 
just try and keep that in mind because it really sucks to go through that. Um, just be nice, guys. <laughs> just be nice. This world is so fucking horrible right now. And the easiest thing that you can do is spread love and be nice and don't be an insensitive asshole. Other than that, that's it for the video and thank you guys for watching. Bye!